Today I have 5 movement tips in Roblox Rivals. Rivals has been out for a couple days now and I've been playing it ever since it's released. If you guys haven't already seen, it is a brand new FPS game, which is really really fun. But this game also has some pretty unique movement too. And I'm going to be showing you guys 5 different movement tricks to improve your gameplay in Roblox Rivals. So we're on the arena map right now and the first trick is going to be how to fast slide. Or slide cancel or b hop, whatever you're going to call it. If you click control or C, you're going to slide. What you can do right after you slide is you can just jump immediately and keep doing that. And as you guys can see, this is already much faster than just walking around the map normally like this. But the next thing is a bit more advanced, which is ramp jumping. So on most maps in Rivals, there are ramps in the game like right here. A ramp is any diagonal slope basically that you can walk on. And what you can do if you do the slide cancel on a ramp, you are going to launch yourself very high in the air just like that. Another trick is if you hold a melee while doing it, you can also go kind of further. But yeah, so that's a bit different, but you just slide cancel on a ramp and you will fling yourself just like that, just walking on the ramp and jumping like that. Ramp jumping can take you a little bit further. Another thing ramp jumping is useful for is peeking with a sniper or any gun like that. You wouldn't be able to do that normally because you can't jump that high. But the next trick is grenade jumping. Now this obviously works on any map, but grenade jumping is just throwing a grenade at your feet and then jumping and you will fling yourself across the map just like that. But another trick I've learned is that you can also kind of combine grenade jumping and ramp jumping. You just throw a grenade near a ramp and then slide and you will literally fling yourself all the way across the map. It does kind of take practice to learn grenade jumping. If you do it perfectly, you can just fling yourself basically all the way from here, all the way to there. But yeah, the next trick is for double jump items. Now there are certain items in the game which give you double jump abilities. And the two double jump items in the game are the bow and the fists. But yeah, so you can double jump with the bow, like if you just press space again in the air. You can also do it with your fists. And this is pretty helpful for like doing certain things, like getting on here pretty fast. But one thing you can do, which is helpful on a lot of maps, use the bow and then swap to your fist and then you can double jump or triple jump actually. I can just do that and then jump again and you can jump twice in the air. So that is another pretty interesting thing that you can do, but I would just probably stick to one double jump item. The next trick is going to be to use boost melees. Now my main melee usually is the scythe, mainly because it is really, really good for movement. The fists are really good because they can double jump, but the scythe actually has an ability where you can dash forward just like that. And the cooldown is really, really short as well. So you can confuse people a lot by just dashing next to them and hitting them with a knife. I used to also start my matches like I would go over here and I would fling myself and just go in the middle of the thing and then just start shooting over here. So I can basically just fling yourself to the middle of the map within like one second of the round starting as well. And of course, again, there are different circumstances for different maps. But you guys get the point on how it could be useful. But yeah, so those are five tips, which is slide canceling like this, ramp jumping like this, boost melees like that, grenade jumping, and obviously the double jump items, which are the bow and the fists. So yeah, those are some pretty simple tricks to help you improve your movement in Roblox Rivals. If you guys want to see me do more Rivals videos, then please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on what you'd like to see me do because this is my first Rivals video. But yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.